Hey Sandy Creek, this is Mrs. Hannah and we're out exploring uh, with my two little explorers, even though one just walked away. Um, and what we're doing, what we've been doing to kind of get out of the house and stay healthy is we've been going on nature walks um, around our community. Um, and one of the awesome things that we found is we found a beaver dam um, that's pretty close to our house. So I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about a beaver dam and what it is. And it's right behind us, yes. yes right so if I'll turn it around. All right, so here are the beaver dams and it looks like there's actually, for this part, there's kind of three um, all together. I'm gonna move it around so you guys can kind of see how that works. Um, so a couple things about beavers. They are the second biggest rodent in the world. Um, they live to be 24 years old. They're herbivores, which means that they eat just plant material um, and they get to be about 60 pounds and here I have a little a little pine tree aka Calvin who is about 60 pounds so that is actually about the size of a beaver um, so they get to be pretty big about the size of a six-year-old boy um, mm -hmm. and I wanted to show you what it looks like when they eat a tree down so how they make their dams is they kind of put them together with a whole bunch of sticks and mud and rock and um, kind of get it to a point where where it goes and they and they put it together where there's like a closer point in the uh, water area and they dam it up so that they have an area to live. So this right here, this is a tree that you can tell it's been eaten off by a beaver um, because of the way that it's angled down here um, the way that they knot it and their teeth never stop growing uh, beavers teeth are constantly growing um, and they they gnaw the tree down and then it falls over i don't know if anybody cuts wood for their house to heat and things like that but if you cut wood it's usually straight across and you can see the striation marks uh, from the chain so get out and explore around in your community you never know what you might find because we've lived here for quite a while and never knew that this was here.